and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to address this distinguished audience at the Institute of International and European Affairs, which provides a prestigious platform for high-level analysis of European and global issues. Nearly three years ago, five countries came together to a meeting of their foreign ministers in the margins of UN General Assembly in New York to form a new partnership. MICTA is an unofficial consultation and coordination platform which was initiated in 2013 among Mexico, Indonesia, Korea, Turkey, and Australia. The MICTA initiative is not a regional cooperation organization and is not an alternative to any other organization. MICTA aims to contribute constructive solutions to regional and global problems as well as enhancing effectiveness of global governance. Therefore, MICTA countries, which are all G20 members and have similar characteristics with regard to their peaceful and constructive approach to international issues, their democratic political structures, and their rapidly growing economies, aim to increase their coordination and cooperation in various platforms and issues from G20 to the UN Security Council, from climate change to nuclear disarmament and democratization. MICTA countries that have a significant level of economic power also work to strengthen their economic and political ties as well as develop joint positions concerning several regional and global issues. Distinguished guests, the era in which we live is an age of rapid changes. Accordingly, foreign policy issues have also gained a more complex and complicated character. Today, taking the necessary steps is keeping with the speed of these changes, and development is the most important task laid before decision makers. In such an environment, developments show us that international legitimacy, economic interdependence, respect for human rights, pursuing a sustainable environmental policy and harmony between people belonging to different religious and ethnic origins stand as the most important tools to build lasting peace, stability and prosperity. The realities of our time also compel us to analyze international dynamics with a global perspective of peace. Located in one of the important intersections of different foreign policy dynamics, the extraordinary process also shapes Turkey's basic foreign policy issues. In light of the many opportunities created by globalization, we were in fact hoping for the emergence of a new environment conducive to, last, to lasting peace. However, traditional security issues as well as uh, new and evolving risks and threats such as terrorism, proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, cross-border organized crime, and illegal immigration continue to ever overshadow our optimism. Turkey pursues a dynamic and visionary foreign policy with a view to steering the developments in a positive direction in a, re in a region where the impact of global changes are greatest. In this context, Turkey is multidimensional, <coughs> constructive, realistic, and responsible foreign policy is one of the most important assets in reali realizing its national and international goals. Turkey does not only develop its bilateral and re regional relations in its close neighborhood, but seeks to create a positive synergy on a much wider scale and thus aims to contributing to global peace, stability, and security. Turkey is aware of the necessity to foster the linkage between political stability, economic welfare, and cultural harmony in order to attain sustainable global peace. To this end, Turkey is committed to further enhance political dialogue with all countries search for new economic and commercial areas of cooperation, and increase its humanitarian aid and assistance to the developing countries. As an emerging energy hub and a transit 
country, Turkey plays an important role with respect to global energy security. Likewise, as an active member of the G20, which gave a new impulse to the quest for global governance, Turkey is pursuing a more representative and democratic global system. Turkey also assumes active role in endeavors to foster mutual respect and common values among different cultures and religions. In this regard, the Alliance of Civilizations Initiative, co-sponsored by Turkey and Spain, represents the strongest response ever to the scenarios of the so-called clash of civilizations. Turkey conduct a foreign policy guided by the principle of peace at home, peace in the world, as set out by Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. It has a broad and constructive vision and is committed to make use of all its means and capabilities towards this end. Turkey will resolutely continue its efforts in this direction, which will not only guarantee its national interests, but will help achieve the common goals of humanity. Within this framework, Turkey strongly supports the strength and cooperation in the fields of energy, fight against terrorism and security, commercial and economic cooperation, good governance and democracy, sustainable development, gender equality, and peacekeeping operations among MiGTA countries. Turkey thinks that MiGTA platform can further contribute to develop constructive solutions to several uh, regional and global problems. MiGTA is also instrumental for Turkey to improve its bilateral relations with Mexico, Indonesia, Korea, and Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, as of 1st January 2016, the population of Turkey will, was estimated to be almost 80 million people. The population is relatively young, with 26.6% under 15 years old. Turkey has been one of the most important centers of commercial and financial relations between the East and the West throughout history. The ancient city of Istanbul's strategic location has fostered Turkey's commercial and financial ties over the years. With a gross domestic product of $800 billion, Turkey is the 17th largest economy in the world. Vision 2023, uh, as it's known, sets ambitious targets. This is the year when Turkey will celebrate the centenary of the proclamation of the Republic. Turkey expects to be counted among the world's 10 strongest economies with a GDP of $2 trillion and an export volume of $500 billion by 2023. Furthermore, Turkey aims to transform its economy into a high-value-added and knowledge-based high-tech economy. Exceeding $100 billion in total worth, crucial investment pro projects to support and facilitate further growth are currently underway particularly in the domains of transportation, energy, and communication. More than $120 billion of foreign direct investment has flown into Turkey past decade alone. Turkey's target is to become a regional financial center over the course of the next decade and at the end of the decade, by 2023, to become a global financial center. Turkey will invest $100 billion in energy within the next 10 years. Installed capacity of electricity generation is targeted to increase to 100,000 megawatts. Power generated from geothermal, solar, wind, and hydroelectric energy is on the rise. By 2023, Turkey aims to increase the portion of renewable energy uh, renewable in the energy mix to 30%. Turkish Airlines carried more than 60 million passengers in 2015. It's projected to reach 100 million passengers by 2020. The new Istanbul Airport is going to be built in four phases. The total capacity of the airport will reach 
150 million passengers. Turkey is founding member of the United Nations, the Organization of the Islamic Conference, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. A member state of the Council of Europe since 1949 and of NATO since 1952. Since 2005, Turkey is an accession negotiations with the European Union, having been an associate member since 1963. Turkey is also a member of the G20 uh, and uh, of the World Trade Organization. In 2022, uh, sorry, 2092, uh, sorry, <laughs> 1992, uh, Turkey and 10 other regional nations formed the Black Sea Economic Cooperation Business Council to expand regional trade and economic cooperation. Turkey Foreign Ministry opened 65 new missions in last 13 years and 228 diplomatic and consular missions in foreign countries right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Syrian crisis has become the world's largest humanitarian tragedy in recent memory. Almost half of the country's population, close to 12 million men, women and children, have been displaced. Since 2011, Turkey has been a refuge for Syrians who escaped the civil war in their country. All in all, hosting nearly 3 million Syrians, plus other number of refugees in the world. Um, other, uh, other Turkish country nationals, according to the UN's uh, HCR figures, Turkey today hosts the highest number of refugees in the world. To, to date, the government has spent more than 10 billion US dollars for the refugees. Around 260,000 Syrians are accommodated in 25 temporary protection centers and provided with food, non-food items, health and education services, as well as psychological assistance, vocational training and social activities in Turkey. For Syrian refugees living outside of the protection centers, a specific permission to go to other city province is not required. The attitude of Turkish society to migrants, refugees, asylum seekers, and people under temporary protection has always been one of the tolerance, sympathy, and solidarity. Syrian refugees are also allowed to work legally in Turkey now, as legislation was passed on 15th January this year, to allow Syrians to enter the Turkish labor force. Now, there are almost 830,000 Syrian children who need education living in Turkish soil. The capacity created until now stands at more than 500,000. Still, at least 25,000 teachers are urgently needed and these education providers are planned to come from the Syrian refugee communities, of course. Syrian refugees who entered Turkey are registered by the Turkish authorities. Free access to medical treatment is facilitated for all Syrian refugees residing in protection centers. Furthermore, Syrian nationals who are not residing in protection centers can approach health centers or state hospitals and receive medical attention free of charge. Syrian refugees may attend Turkish language courses and skills, hobby and vocational courses offered by public education center, centers free of charge. In the context of the temporary protect, protection regime, all Syrian refugees may avail themselves of the protection of the government of Turkey. In practice, this means that they may approach the authorities, including police, 
and report and seek assistance for any crime that they may experience while in Turkey. Thus, Turkey has become one of the most important actors in the global humanitarian system. We do not only help the kindred com communities or neighboring countries, but we also try to reach places in Africa, the Caribbean, and the Asia-Pacific region. Our solidarity with the Somali people who suffered from a severe drought in 2011 is just one example. Turkey proudly emphasized the human-oriented diplomacy which became an integral part of her foreign policy. There are simply too many lives at stake and inaction is not an option. At this critical juncture, Turkey hosted the first ever UN World Humanitarian Summit on 23-24 May 2016. The summit gathered the world leaders with affected communities and sought answers for the urgent challenges to the future of the system together with, with NGOs, private sector, and representatives of other stakeholders. The World Humanitarian Summit, Summit provided a vital platform to address the challenges burdening the humanitarian system. In addition to such issues as responding to recurrent uh, protracted crises and waves of display, displacement, some pressing issues such as ensuring sustainable, reliable, and predictable humanitarian, uh, humanitarian financing have been examined. Other questions such as uh, what innovative methods could be used or how to promote localized humanitarian responses through more tailor-made and user-friendly approaches, as well as the question of dignity and safety or in humanitarian action have been addressed at the summit. The summit was an occasion for all the nations of the world and their leader to take action while millions stand on the brink of light and death. As the summit motto clearly reflects, it's our common humanity to save, thus it should be our shared responsibility to act. Turkey believes that the summit is the turning point at which we reaffirm our commitment to our responsibilities <coughs> as states, international organizations, the private sector, civil society, and individual leaders. Today, as no country is immune from humanitarian crisis, we believe responding to these crises is not only an international responsibility, but also a moral obligation. Distinguished guests, MICTA can make an important contribution to regional and international peace, can reflect the conscience of the international community. MICTA countries have both the will and capacity to contribute to the public good and strengthen global governance. Turkey is looking at ways of building and building on and stepping up cooperation among MICTA countries. In this context, the enhancement of connectivity and cooperation, not only among governments, but also among business, academic, and cultural circles, cir circles is important. This is why Turkey strongly supports the idea of creating the MICTA academic network. Turkey strongly supports the extent cooperation among MICTA countries at international organizations beyond the UN. Uh, our journey with MICTA is just progressing. MICTA will continue to expand and strengthen its role for more efficient and effective global governance. Thank you for your patience.